I was 14 when I first thought of using dreams for virtual reality. The idea of that felt too big to pursue, so I didn't look into it any further, but with the rebirth of virtual reality, I'd like to see if it would be possible with today's technology. While I was researching, something that came up over and over again was that the lucid dreaming brain is the same thing as virtual reality, but without any construct. In its current state, virtual reality technology does not seem to take this into account at all. Because of this, I'd like to propose the idea of giving the reality inside our dreaming mind a program to follow. I believe this is the starting point of achieving fully immersive virtual reality. Today, we have all the knowledge we could dream of at our fingertips. Anyone with the drive to do so could go into the garage and create something specific to them. One could invent things that made their lives more convenient or just more interesting, and I think that this fact is heavily overlooked and almost ignored altogether. The pieces are there, we just need to put them together. An experiment done studied a rat running through a hallway, except it wasn't. It was on a foam wheel and was only watching a projection. The strange part though was that the signals being sent to the mouse's brain when being shown the same scene had been completely different every time. This suggests that, at least in mice, virtual reality isn't registered in the same way as reality is. My theory for this is that it's because we're missing our other senses in virtual reality. So what if we had them? In this video, I'll be putting all the current senses together in virtual reality and discussing whether or not this is a foundation for full dive VR or its first failure. The five senses, touch, smell, hearing, taste, and sight. Hearing is already quite advanced through high definition headphones. So I think that's on the game developers to implement into games that are based on immersion, like Skyrim. So this sense is entirely relative to the experience and could not matter at all in some cases. Apart from that, we have the sense of sight. I found a paper that experimented with the imitation of senses in VR, and the results were interesting. The experiment began with putting the subjects in two environments, both almost completely identical, with the only difference being one environment being set in virtual reality, and the other one being set in reality. This was done in hopes to create sensory illusion, a state in which real life and virtual life were imperceivable for one another. The results of this came when they tested whether or not participants would jump into a pit in the virtual world, and when they refused. The reaction became stronger when participants were on the real wooden edge. This proved the sensation of vertigo, a common sensation many people have when looking down a deep vertical hole, and proves that this sensation can be enhanced by physical stimuli. I believe this enforces the currently already immersive sense of vision, and lays some sort of foundation for touch. Haptic gloves. This is something you've probably heard of if you're into VR-based media or follow the current technology. In its current state, it's already able to allow for the feeling of shape, texture, and motion of objects, with 130 points of feedback and no discernible latency. The gloves even offer 4 pounds of resistance. There's also the Tesla suit, which essentially covers the rest of the body. The suit offers a haptic feedback system, which allows for precise electric stimulation, a climate control system to warm or cool your body based on a game events, high precision motion tracking, and smart tracking of the biometric movements of your body, which I took to mean it records and learns from your movements, essentially tailoring each suit to its user. As for taste, Nimesha Ramasinghe and Ellen Yi Luen Do from the University of Tokyo have created technology to almost completely allow for the taste and feeling of eating food that isn't actually there. The technology uses thermal stimulation to use changes in temperature to stimulate the taste of sweetness on your tongue. It was unreliable, as only half the participants reported it was actually working, while some reported spiciness instead, but it still stands as a fantastic foundation for this technology. When it came to actually feeling the food, the two used a higher frequency stimulation to simulate hardness of a food. They also used a longer electric pulse to create more of an elastic feeling, or texture. This is all done via an electrode on the masseter muscle, which is a muscle in the jaw used for chewing. Using these two devices in tandem is probably the best method of tasting in VR available to us right now, and will likely be expanded upon and perfected in the coming years. Last, we have the sense of smell. A mask called the Feel Real, which hasn't been made available yet, is a mask that gives the sense of smell to VR users. It has 255 different smells available to it, and works in tandem with the most current VR headsets via Bluetooth. The Feel Real goes even further by adding the effect of cool breezes or warm air pushing onto your face. So what would happen if all of these were used together? Would you have a complete virtual reality experience? The answer is probably no, not yet. Like I said earlier, the pieces are all there, and like any new technology, it's waiting for someone to come and put them all together and then polish it up before it starts evolving over time. I personally don't believe this is a path to fully immersive VR, but it's still exciting and amazing technology nonetheless. And who knows, maybe this is the foundation for it rather than being the whole thing itself. Currently, the technology is completely different from my idea of using VR technology to control and immerse yourself in dreams. 
and that idea remains mostly untested and unexplored, though I hope to see something leading to full dive VR technology sometime in the future, whether or not it's related to my idea. What do you guys think about all this? Do you think this is the proper direction in order to achieve a complete virtual reality experience? Or do you think the idea is being approached all wrong? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like and comment. It helps the video get found. If you like the content, subscribe for more. I'll try to upload daily, but these videos do take a long time to edit, so it's looking more like three times a week for uploads. But if you do enjoy it, stick around and the content will keep getting better. Thanks.